Meanwhile, the aftermath of Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines, three Chinese medical teams have treated hundreds of Filipino patients in the aftermath of the typhoon. They've also been given a warm welcome as the typhoon destroyed much of the medical facilities in Tacloban and some of the worsted areas. Many Filipinos have also volunteered to give the Chinese medical teams a helping hand. Here's a report from the ground. Three Chinese medical teams are helping survivors of the Philippines' deadliest typhoon. One from the government, one from the Red Cross Society of China, and a floating hospital called the Peace Ark. The government team is now on a 15-day mission in Apuyak, one of the hardest-hit areas. The team of 50 specialists has brought ample supplies of medicine and advanced medical equipment. The China Health Team is very necessary here because we don't have the hospital because it's damaged with the super type on Yolanda or Dayan. Yeah, so we are glad that you are came here. So we are very much happy with that. Many Filipinos are volunteering their services. One Chinese Filipino traveled nine hours to lend a helping hand. I know some of the medical team members can speak English, but many local people cannot. So I think maybe we can provide some help with the communication. The Chinese Navy's Peace Ark, the first 10,000-ton class hospital ship in the world, is assisting survivors in Tacloban City. We understand that the Peace Ark has 300 beds with 100 doctors that could do more dedicated medical attention and service to the patients with the aid of our friends, and in this particular case, China. It gives us hope. It inspires us to pick up the pieces and to begin to rebuild. The ship's team has also set up a field hospital in the city of Palo, making it the first international aid team in the area. Yang Xiaoting, CCTV.